another video as you all can tell i'm this this is this is gonna be a banger right here because i got the dig of diamonds in the building i got the dig of diamonds in the building so yeah i'm just gonna go ahead and let them introduce themselves ladies okay who's gonna go first <laughs> where we're <laughs> <laughs> first I'm a okay <laughs> okay hey y'all i'm razor aka rated baddies rtb I'm Caitlin. Um, everybody calls me Cat. I'm from Mobile, Alabama. This is my fourth and last year on the team. Hi, I'm Alicia. This is my second year on the team. I'm from Washington, D.C. Hi, my name is Shania Reed. I'm from Montgomery, Alabama, and this is my second year on the team. What made you become a Dega Diamond? Okay, what made me become a Dega Diamond? Um... I had a friend that went to a summer institute, and she was like, girl, you need to come out here and try out. And I was like, girl, I'm not dancing no more. What's wrong with you? So I ended up coming. I tried out, and I made the team, and then, you know, the rest is history. So. Um, <laughs> well, what made me come and dig a diamond? Um, I think they came to Mobile one time. I think this is when it was Baton Southern. And I was there, and I just didn't know who they were. I was like, who is this big old team coming out here? Like, what is this? And so I talked to the coach, and she was telling me about tryouts and stuff. And so I came and tried it out. Mm. Uh, what made me become a Dega Diamond? Uh, let's see. Well, since I'm from D.C., we don't really know about bands from down here. So... We know about the big bands, but not like the small college bands. So I got accepted to the school and my mom was like, they got a dance team, so you might as well just try out. So I was just like, okay. And I tried out and I made the team. Um, what made me become a Dega Diamond was my godmom is the auxiliary coordinator. And, you know, I would come up here in the summer when they would have practice and I would just watch and say and see how they were different from everybody else. And the style is different. So I like the style. I tried out and I made the team. Awesome, awesome. So, um, how was it? How was it auditioning for Dega Diamonds? Um, I'll go first because mine was a little different from everybody else's. Mine was an open audition, and basically everything was one day. You found out if you made it or not. You packed everything you needed for band camp. If you made it, you moving in. If you didn't, you went home. So, <laughs> that's how Um, okay. Uh, <laughs> mine was like, it was like a regular, it was a three-day trial. Uh, we came up here on Friday. We learned material Saturdays. And then Sunday, we tried out. Um, It was a little weird, a little difficult because I never, you know, thought about trying out for a college dance team. Once I left high school, I was just one, you know, be a regular student. But it was actually kind of fun. It was challenging, very challenging. It was very hard on us. So it was a little a little difficult, but it was it was fun and difficult at the same time. And it was nerve wracking. Like I was so nervous the whole time. <laughs> um mine's went the same way as cats. I know my <laughs> here trying out. I came a day late because I had to do some graduation stuff for for high school. But, and I had to learn everything in one day and then audition the next day. But it was, it was the same. It was pressure. It was like a lot of pressure. And it was like, when I came in, a lot of people was just like, who is that? She's kept in it, learned this. And I was just like, so quiet. I was looking around like everybody. But my second year trying out, it was just like a lot of familiar faces and helping everybody out, like, and talking to them about the team. It was fun to me. Okay, mine was like Lisa's since we crapped together. Um, yeah, we had to learn everything in two days. You know, it was very difficult doing 
um, seeing how high school was different from college, doing mat different material and everything. Um, Sunday, it was pretty nerve wracking. You had three people in the room, dad look, look, looking at you dead in the eyes, and you cannot look at them or you will mess up. Yeah. And, but overall, tryouts was, tryouts was fun. It was definitely a different experience from high school. And, yeah. Okay, cool, cool. So, um, have you all, like, been dancing, like, did you dance in the high school dance team? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yeah. I think everybody did. Yeah. <laughs> High school and college is like two different things. Like, yes. I'm in drum line, think you're gonna come up here and be like them. It's two different things. <laughs> it's a different experience than what you would expect it to be like. But it's a fun experience at the end of the day. It's, it shows you, like, take you to different places, different locations. You get to learn a lot of new stuff. Yeah, it builds character. I would say that. Yes, it definitely does. So, I'm gonna ask you this one. Um, Explain your rookie season up to your current, like your current last season. Raise <laughs> your. <laughs> 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 okay, um, my rookie season, I would say that I was the weakest link. Like, I'll be real honest with you. I was the worst crab. I was the worst one. I used to get in trouble all the time. I couldn't remember that. I couldn't get right, okay? That was me. My first season just couldn't get right, just period. Just couldn't get right. But um, I guess leading up to my last season, it took a lot of figuring out myself. Like, I had to get comfortable with myself and get comfortable in my craft and what I was doing. And my last season, I would say that I think that will go down in history because that was monumental for me for the diamonds like we did so much we gained so many fans like it was just that last year for me was just top that topped it all off for me it was worth it in the end so. yeah um okay <laughs> <laughs> my rookie season um it was a season uh <laughs> when I did, it was definitely something that i wasn't expecting like in my head, like, I'm thinking this is going to be easy as a breeze. You know, I'm going to walk in, learn the material. We're going to be on the field. We're going to dance. We're going to do what we got to do. But it was definitely, like, a wild awakening to me, especially, like, band camp and stuff. And just, like, my first performance, I didn't make the stands. They didn't put me in the stands. They was like, no. And I that really kind of, like, broke my heart. <laughs> like, that was, like, the breaking of my heart right then. So it just kind of pushed me to do better, to push myself to do more. And then after that, like, I made sure I was in the stands ever since then. Like, ever since that moment that they broke my heart, like, I made sure I was in the stands ever since then. Um, leading up to my current season, um, it's fun. Like, like Rachel said, it was definitely – we gained a lot of fans – last season like definitely a lot of attention was on us more than we have ever had so it's definitely you know an experience my rookie season it was like amazing i don't know i'm just say amazing because i just did a lot of new things i didn't do a lot of like big old performances like this at home but i did but it wasn't like it was like a little little bedazzled but this it was like every yeah i was just like and they was just like, you okay? I'm like, yeah, I'm all right. I just never did this before. <laughs> but it was cool to me. It was amazing. My rookie season was... Ooh. Let me get the sauce because it's... Mm. <laughs> <laughs> it was something to remember. Um, Me coming in, I already did the craft process in high school. I'm coming in thinking I'm about to do the same thing. Ooh, going through bank. Camp, it was definitely something. It was different challenges. Um, I remember Raja was just hollering at me and say, You need to fix this and you need to fix that. And I was going to the bathroom and cry and say, I'm about to go home. But I remember I came to do one thing and that was dance, and I did just that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> He's like, You better be sure because we not about to. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Oh, um, explain a normal practice and explain normal practices at band camp. Um, 
We got them, so we got them long hour practice over. <laughs> Oh, um, let's see. Oh, it's 17. My crap, yeah. It was five o'clock in the morning practices. You get like an hour break and you going right back out there. Like, you're gonna practice from five to eight and you're gonna go to breakfast. You're gonna eat. You're gonna lay down for 30 minutes, get right back up, and come back to practice. Uh, we used to get out of practice like 11 to 12 o'clock. Like, we used to try to sneak out before the band and I'd be in there to be like, Where y'all going? Uh-uh. Mm-hmm. Go back in that place. And we like, it's 12 o'clock. <laughs> we, we tired. We didn't practice all day. Um, it's definitely like, you gonna, you got to wake up. Like, you got to get up. Even though them days you're going to be like, I'm tired. I don't want to go no more. It's like, you got to push yourself to keep going because every day is something new. It's something different. You're learning new stands. You're learning new choreography every day. Like, And then you got to exercise on top of that. So it's... <laughs> It's it's something like big camp was a wild awakening for me as soon as I like I said I thought this was gonna be like drumline and this was not <laughs> <laughs> this is not <laughs> I called my mama say I think I watched the wrong movie this is not what I see on TV but <laughs> it's definitely an experience like it's fun when you think about it but while you going through big camp it's like oh my god I'm ready to go home like <laughs> I just want to get in my bed and go to bed like that's it but it's definitely fun. I would say, yeah, band camp practices are different from when you actually get in season. Well, it's mm-hmm. different, but it's but it's not that different. Like, you know, band camp, you playing catch up. Like, you you have your first performance in August, and you literally get there, like, the last weekend in July. So, it's like crunch time. So, it's like you cramming everything. Everything in, like, two to three weeks, like, you just on go. Like, every day is so much material to learn you got to learn parades you got to learn the stance you got to learn how to do our strut and our strut is different so it <laughs> takes a lot it takes a lot you got to get everything down pat before that first performance so band camp practices are like it's crunch time like it's goal time like you got to go in there straight tunnel vision like it's no plan like whew, that's the difference but you know regular practice is chill what's well, not i ain't even about to lie and say it's chill but you know, regular practice for us would be like running through everything, like running through all the stands, every single last one of them. It's not one that we're not going to do. Like, we ain't going to stop to do every single last one. It's parades. You do all of them. You practicing stretch. You're working out. You're doing the field shows. Like, it's you going. <laughs> <laughs> you going. <laughs> yeah, it was just like the same, like what they're saying. But, hmm. The early morning practices. Ooh. All the time. <laughs> then you go lay down thinking, oh, yeah, we better get a break. Five o'clock practice in the morning, get that text. I'm like, jeez, Louise. <laughs> <laughs> Every day, Monday through Saturday. And you just be like, God, just let me go do it. <laughs> you think your Sunday about to be a rest day? It's not. Practice one o'clock. <laughs> it is. Yeah. I, I've never, I, I mean, yeah, shoot. Ooh. <laughs> I couldn't do no 5 a.m. No, no, no. no. And not only is it 5 a.m., it's 5 a.m. and you running. It ain't 5 a.m. and you stretching and chilling. It's 5 a.m. and you getting up and you working out. Yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I tried to get myself together. <laughs> Uh, well, I, I be praying for the rain and it just don't happen. <laughs> and then the rain don't stop it either. I remember walking to practice one time soaking wet from the rain. Just heat it. Yeah. <laughs> that is funny. Um, tell me you all's favorite game, your favorite costume, your favorite stand, and your favorite dance feature. Whoever wants to go first. Raisha. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, mm, <clears throat> you know, but well, we don't have a football team, so I would. We mainly do battles, so I guess my favorite battle would be the one we did with Alcorn oh. last season, because I feel like we had a point to prove, and we proved that point. Like we could stand with the big dogs. Like, yeah, we here. So I guess that would be one. Um, my favorite stands would probably be. Okay, this is probably gonna sound arrogant, but look, anything I made up, that's my fave. Okay, 
Anything I put my hands on, that's my fave. I promise. Um, what else? Uh, and my favorite uniforms would be the I designed three. Those are my faves. Um, maroon velvet is that maroon uniform with the little little swoop in the front. And um, it's one called Yonce. That's my fave too. It's blue with the little patches on it. I can't even describe it to you right now. But those would be my faves and. I think that's it. And I love Mardi Gras season. That's not a game, but I love Mardi Gras season because we on go. It's fun. Like, it's a whole experience. Um, I guess I go. Uh, <laughs> um, my, fa- my favorite performance at the season is Crankfish. Like, that was my favorite. Uh, going against Jackson State Southern and Texas Southern. Like, that was just that was just the mood. Like everybody was out there. It was just a lot of people. It was just the excitement, the crowd. Like it just had us hyped up. Um, my favorite uniform. I don't. It's called the Saints game. It's like a little two piece. We went for a Saints game. It's white. That's my favorite uniform. Like in the world. Um, my favorite stands. Uh, okay. <laughs> I'm not describing it. Oh. Um, Baseball, I don't, I don't know if y'all been there. <laughs> but, <I don't> know. <laughs> but it's called baseball. That's like one of my favorite stands. Um, what's another way? Um, uh, racial stands. Those are my favorite too. I love her stands. Um, we have a lot of old stands that I love as well. Um, oh yeah. And what, what was the other question? That was it. <laughs> Dance feature. Oh, um, let me see. I have to say, um, when we went to Texas, Houston, when we did in Houston, and they had like, um, I don't know, I think that was it, like when we did in Houston. Yeah, it was the white, was it the white? Yeah, it was the white. Yeah. The uh, white one with the bedazzles on the front. That was my favorite. You talking about telephone? Yeah, telephone. <laughs> 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 Uh, my favorite uniform was the one we wore for Endemia, the white one. That was my favorite one. Uh, my favorite performance. I don't have a favorite because I feel as though it was it was all good. So, but my top two was when we battled when we battled Alcorn and Senior Bowl. And it, it's reasons why those are my favorite. But I don't want to get into it. But those were my performances. Um, my favorite stands. I don't. I like all the stands, honestly. Like when I be in my zone, I just get into them. So I don't really have a favorite one. I just gotta get into it, and I do it. Mm, what's the last question? Um, dance feature. I only did one, so. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm gonna just. Performance, yeah. costume, stands, or feature. Yeah, yeah, you're good. Yeah. <laughs> um yeah we only had one dance teacher 2019 so yeah ashley shout out to you um my favorite stand is madonna you know i love when she throw madonna I'm like yes it's my stand um <laughs> my favorite performance was senior bowl it was definitely different seeing everybody out there everybody's watching saying who is that who is that in the blue Yes, it's us, Dick of Diamonds. <laughs> and my favorite uniform is the one we wore the senior bowl, you know, the blue. And, you know, I just like how it shaped everybody's body. And, yeah. Okay, awesome. That seems really cool. I love it. I love it. Um, What did you love most about being a Dick of Diamond? This is... <laughs> this is... <laughs> Very different, but it's rare. Like it's it's amazing. I don't know, but it's it's different, but it's it's rare. But it's like something like, oh yeah, these my girls right here. At the end of the day, like that's how it is. That's what I love most about being a nigga guy. Yeah, we always have each other's back, no matter what. Like at the end of the day, we are gonna always have each other back. Like that's what being a nigga diamond is all about. Like having. Having your dead sisters back, like always being there for them no matter what. And it's just like a whole different vibe. Like 
just being a dad that I'm real different. We don't do stuff that everybody else do. So a lot of people like criticize that because we not like everybody else. We like step outside the box. We're gonna do what Dag and Diamonds are gonna do at the end of the day. And we just do what we do. That's what that's what I like about Dig It Out. It's just us, like it's Dig It Out. <laughs> what I like the most is let me see. Okay, our band is the most hated. I'm a just and everybody know that. And I love being the most hated because you can hate on me, but you watching. At the end of the day, you watching. I know that's right. And that's, that's what I like. And um, <laughs> and I like our diversity. Like, it's not like we just soft all the time. Not a hit to nobody. Like we not just no soft team. We not just no bucking team. We gonna give you everything. Like whatever you want to see, we gonna give it to you. Like we ain't gonna be slow today and tomorrow. Now we gonna be slow. We gonna buck you down. And we're going to give you that, uh, like, we're going to get in your face, too. Like, I like that about us. And then, like I, like they said, the sisterhood. Like, these are, like, my sisters. Like, we all came out the same womb. Like, <laughs> yeah. seriously. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like she said, um, it's definitely sisters. Um, you know, and sisters bring different stuff to the table. You got this one. Okay, she gonna book. Okay, I don't like that book. We're gonna change this book right here. And it's not a problem. You know, sisters correct each other. And, you know, they don't take it. They take offense to it. Okay, you saw, I don't like that kind of right there. We're gonna change that up a little bit. Oh, all right. And we're gonna put it together as one. And that's what I like. All right. Like yeah, it's definitely a lot of diverse counts, especially because we all from different places. Like, it's just now, <laughs> what place we from? Like, yeah, people in D.C., Chicago, um, Louisiana. So it's like, it's definitely going to be a mixture of counts. Yeah, I, lo I love that about y'all. That, that, I love how a squad has a sisterhood, for real. You know, you got to, you got to, like, y'all going to be around each other for, what, five months? You got to get along, you know, you got to get along, and you have to be a sisterhood. So I love that. Um, which dance team did you like going up against last season? Oh, oh. <laughs> I, got, <laughs> I got tired of seeing Alcorn, okay? We seen them <laughs> every time we went somewhere, but that that was fun that was fun they gave it was like a battle like i like going against them because it was like oh you in my face okay we in your face too so it wasn't like oh all right they won it was like oh who do we pick like they was going neck and neck i like battles like that like i like a good competition i like a good run for my money um miles was definitely the battle of birmingham like what well, all the hbcus in alabama that was definitely like my favorite my favorite battle out of all of them because we went against everybody at one time and that was just so funny because it was like oh so they finna play okay well we finna play again oh they playing now we finna go to real like we had <laughs> out of everybody <laughs> in the state of alabama and that was just funny to me because you know it was different like we never had a chance to just battle everybody I didn't stay there. We the battle of people from Mississippi, you know, Tennessee, Louisiana, but it's never been like just an Alabama battle. And so that was really fun for me just to go against like the Divas, the Spingettes, uh, Steelmen, Tuskegee. It was just a fun experience to me. Well, my favorite was AM. Like sitting beside them and, you know, watching them dance. It's like, okay, you can near off my money. Okay, now watch this. <laughs> Felicity, <laughs> what was your favorite battle? Wait on you. Uh, me, I said Alcorn at first. Yeah. I said them. That was my favorite. No, I like battling them because it was like, I don't know. That battle that we did, that first battle, we was, I'm not going to say unprepared, but that was a surprise. And. <laughs> <laughs> Like, huh? Right. I'm like, what? We think we about to do a parade. We yeah. come in, they sitting there like, what's up? Yeah. Like, what? <laughs> that was my favorite one because it was just like, oh, and then the way it was like the way like the energy was going back and forth. So we was just like, yeah, yeah. And they like, mm hmm excuse me, I can't see, I can't see. And we just like, yeah, yeah. And they looking up. <laughs> that was my favorite one. <laughs> what um what should we expect next from Digger Diamonds? What's coming up? Any secrets? New count. 
Definitely new counts, um, new fields. Um, we just got a lot going on, you know, with Talladega. Like, we always be surprised by ourselves sometimes. <laughs> like, we don't never know what's going on. We just kind of like, five in the morning, get on the bus, we finna go. So be prepared. That's all we have to do, like, get on the bus be prepared. But it's definitely going to be a wonderful season. I hope everybody's tuning in and watching. Um, it's going to be a fun season as well. So, yeah. I'm just yeah. yeah, here is going to be amazing. I think I keep saying it, but it's going to be like, oh, shoot. Like, you can going to everybody on the team bring something. Like, it's something from everybody. So it's not about to be like one person holding the team. No, everybody has a part now, like, has a part on the team. So it becomes strong, basically. We're gonna be strong. Awesome, awesome. Um, is there anything else that you know you all like wanna like advise for women who are trying to like get into dance teams? I would say I would say train ahead of time. Like if you know who you wanna go audition for or you know where you wanna go, you need to study that team. Like <clears throat> you need to make sure you prepare. So when you get to that trial, it's like, oh, she got it. That's it. She got the style right there. That's it. Not saying just focus on one particular area, but I would say train to be diverse. Like, don't just bug. Don't just come in there ready to bug. Don't just come in there ready to milk stuff. Like, have it all. Like, have the total package. Have technique. Because a lot of people don't think that that's important, but it really is. So I would say train in all areas. Figure out where you want to go and make sure you train in to you. To the point where you're going to match that team when you get on it. And I would also say just be prepared, honestly. Be prepared. Already come knowing how to curl your hair. Come knowing how to put that makeup <laughs> on because you're going to be doing it for the rest of the season nonstop. You know what I'm saying? Unless y'all got a hairstylist or something like that. But, yeah, be prepared. Train. Work your plan and work it well. And that's all I got. All right, man. Um, I was... <laughs> And like be prepared like um a lot of people think just because we're the Dega Dimes and we don't have a football season that the team is more easier but it's not it's a so like difficult when you get here you're gonna be like wow I'd expect this from this team you know saying that they don't have a football season but it's like at the end of the day it's kind of like we do because we battle so many people and it's so many performances and especially the last minute performances like just don't, like, a lot of people come in and they feel like, oh, it's going to be easy. And then if they find out, it's a whole different story. So, yeah, be prepared. Like, be prepared for anything because we all audition every year. So, I spot sometimes not even say. Like, we have to audition every year. So, just, if you know you can dance, dance. If you know you got technique, do your technique, show out. Like, that's what they're looking for. And, like, I've been there with this very, like, interacting with us like he want to make sure that we're okay at the end of the day so he's in the trials that's why she told you three people don't look at them because he's looking at you like this way <laughs> is this what i want to be on my team is this what i want you know that's gonna bring be like a necessity to my team is this gonna add more to my team so like just bring it get, give it your all and don't don't think because this person right here out dance you that you you know you're not doing good out dance like out dance them be on their level but yeah, just you know, keep your head on straight, do technique, stretch, learn, like learn the style. Don't just come here and think yo, it's gonna be a breeze and then you don't know what you're doing. You just gotta study this and learn. I'll say be open minded because people this is a different style from okay, so when I tried out, I was just like what the heck is going on here? Because I was just like, I don't do none of this back at home. But I was like, okay, I have to be open-minded for it. But I would say, like, for anybody that's trying out for a new team in a new area that you're from, and it's different from what you've been doing for your whole life, be open-minded to it. Because at the end of the day, you might like it, you might not like it. You might make the team, you might not make the team. So, And then when you do make the team, Everything that you've learned, you have to throw it away and learn a whole new style, a whole new everything. You have to reboot your whole body. So it's just like, and then I would just say, like, attitude-wise, just 
leave it. Just <laughs> yeah. <you're>, <laughs> but that, it just won't help. It it won't help you stay focused on what you're doing. It won't help you at all with anything. So yeah. Well, I would say um, be very strong-minded. Obviously, if you're trying out, you're trying out for a purpose. And if you get picked, you got picked for a reason. You're going to go through trials and tribulations, and it's okay to break down. But once you have your breakdown, it's like, okay, it's time to get cracking. You know, I got picked for a reason. I'm about to show them what I got, and I'm just going to show out and do it. Yeah. A lot of people get nervous, and nervousness like that will really mess you up, just being nervous. Yeah. And once you get nervous, it's kind of like your body's just like, I don't care no more. I don't want to do this no more. And then you just shut your own self down because nobody knew you, you know, nobody knew you was nervous or anything. You just got to go out there and do what you know how to do. What do you get out of your role playing, um, being a captain? Like, at the end of the day, what do you get out of it? My last run, um, let's see, what did I get out of it? Well, I would say most definitely strength that I did not know I had because it takes a lot more than just getting up there and doing stands in front of everybody and just leading the team. It really, it's a lot behind the scenes that go on. So I would say I got strength out of it. Um, I do feel accomplished because I set a goal to bring us up to like this top 10, like really the top five. I feel like we up there now because people know our name. And I feel like I accomplished a lot with that. And I feel like they accomplished a lot, too, as a team, because I couldn't do it by myself. So, um, strength, I feel like I accomplished a lot. I feel good. Like, Well, this is definitely a new experience for me. Um, yeah, this is def- that's all I can say. Definitely a new experience, um, you know, being adjusted to being the captain. Um, you have to deal with different personalities. Uh different strengths people where they strong in people where they're weak in you gotta like deal with a lot of stuff and like it's just new to me like it's very new um i don't know like <laughs> i'm excited i'm excited but when i first found out i was a little nervous because i was like people gonna be looking up to me like what <laughs> and then like <laughs> I don't know. That, that rally though yeah, thank you. But like after a while, I was like, okay, like I'm still a little bit nervous. Don't get me wrong, I'm still a little nervous just because it's like it's a lot that come with it. Like a lot of people think, oh, oh she in the front, that's all that matter. But it's not that. It's not just that. Like you gotta got a whole team behind you that you gotta think about. Like because if I mess up, they mess up. You get what I'm saying? So it's like you got. It's like a lot to think about. You just can't think about yourself. You gotta think about the team as one. And this, it's I don't know. I'm excited. I definitely am. Um, definitely when I found out, I kind of shed a little tear because I was like, what? <laughs> but now it's kind of like, okay, like, you got to, like, just step up because it's just new. It's new, but um, it's going to be a lot of fun stuff this season. Next season's going to be very fun. So, you know, just watch out for this cut. We definitely going to be fun, but it's definitely I'm going to be ready. Um. So my last, my last question: What was your favorite memory being on the team? Um. Let me see. My and, favorite. That's my you, favorite. And Demi. Demi. That's my favorite one. Even though it was a lot that that day, that night, that was a lot. But that was my favorite. That was my favorite one. My favorite memory. Oh, uh, let me see. My favorite memory. Okay. My favorite memory was um Crank Fest of seventeen, uh, when we battled Southern I think it was Alcorn and Jackson State. That was my favorite memory. Like that was my crappy that was my first performance as well. So that, <laughs> that was definitely fun for the books. Um uh, yeah, that's my favorite memory. I love that. I love that whole setup right there. Um, my favorite memory was definitely Endymion the night we crossed. It's like when we got done, we was like, Oh my god, we're not crabs anymore. We're diamonds. And it was something totally new. We were like, We're not crabs, you know. We stepping up as diamonds and you know, yeah, it was definitely something different, very different. 
it was like y'all done we just like are you <laughs> like yes no like, it's a joke <laughs> yeah my thought definitely like our we do non-stop we people most people don't know but we in every parade doing Mardi Gras so there's seven parades most times we do two parades in a day like we're we be so exhausted and so tired, but we never show it on our face. That's why, like, we say diamonds are made with pressure. Like, it takes a lot of pressure to make a diamond. And doing the parades, and we barely get sleep because sometimes we'll be up at 6 in the morning just to be on the bus and don't get back to 12 at night and be back up at 6 in the morning again. So it definitely takes a lot of pressure. And, and walking seven miles and character heels and yeah. <laughs> dancing all the time. Like, people don't know it because we don't show it we don't show it on our face you know we keep smiling we keep going because this is something that we love to do this is what we enjoy doing like when people see us walking down there they be like oh my god they're so pretty and that just that excites us and that makes us more happy so that makes us keep going as well so it's definitely it's being a diamond is definitely an experience like it's one you'll never forget um especially with, like a lot of people you know you know, they judge us because of our style, because like I said, we're not like everybody else. This is our own style. We do what diamonds do. We do what makes us a diamond, so. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yes, I, I truly, I truly enjoy it. And I, I, I really am just excited to see what, you know, you all have. And because I, I recently like started watching Digger Diamonds. And when I watched them, I was like, what? Where? Why have I? Why have I not been watching this? I was like, it was cool, and I just, especially Birmingham, with that um, I, um, that that, that, whew, that dance feature, <laughs> was awesome. So I, I really, y'all, you ladies are doing a wonderful job, and keep it going. And you know, it's just, it's awesome, it's awesome. But that'll be it for the video, you guys. I hope you all enjoy, and I'm out of here. Peace.